so good morning everyone so this video is basically for those candidates who appeared in the sled examination of life science paper 2 on the 14 february 2021 there was two papers first paper is common to all subjects and paper 2 which is specifically for the concerned subject so it comprises of 200 marks and the time duration was 2 hours from 11.30 am to 1.30 pm. So one of the most important aspects of life science is there is no negative marks for the incorrect answers. Now once again there are 100 objective type questions and each carrying 2 marks. So first question is match the following. In the SLED examination, there are approximately 30% of the questions were matched the following. It comprises of column 1 and column 2. You have to match column 1 and column 2 and with the codes, you will solve the problems. Now in the first question, you have to um, match the functions of each Yuxek, Korean, Alentois and Amnion. The function of yolk sac provides nutrition and gases exchange between the mother and the embryo. The function of yolk sac, chorion and amnion is somewhat similar. But when you look at the column 2, then you can figure out and you have to choose the most appropriate answer to this each 4 points. For example, yolk sac is the food storage and digestion. Korean is exchange of substances between mother and embryo. Allantois is a structure which is present in beneath the yolk sac. It helps in the elimination of metabolic waste. And amnion is a shock absorption. So the answer to question number one is D. Now moving ahead question number two same similar type of question column 1 and column 2 column 1 have all the scientists and philosophers name and column 2 their ideas and experiments so one of the standard matching in this question is Leatherberg and Leatherberg which did the replica plating method so Leatherberg and Leatherberg their full name is Joshua Leatherberg and another is Esther Leatherberg. They studied evolution on the basis of natural selections. But when you Google it out, father of evolutionary idea, you will find that the answer will be Darwin. But when you have to use logic in it, in this question, the father of evolutionary idea will be Empedocles, as because he is the pioneer of the idea of evolution. Empedocles is a Greek philosopher, a cosmogenic theory he gave and all this made, all this the environment are made up of fire, air, earth and water. Aristotle is environment is responsible for evolution and Darwin said adaptation are responsible for evolution. So the answer will be B. Now question number 3. Question number 3 is the most easiest question I suppose. Filtration, particle size, ultrafiltration, molecular size, centrifugation, specific gravity and ion exchanger when there is ion electric will be there. So answer to 3 is C. Question number 4 match again similar sort of question column 1 and column 2. Fructose kinase is glycolysis. It's a regulatory enzyme of the glycolysis. It is an elastoric enzyme made up of four units controlled by activator and inhibitors. Glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase is a pentose phosphate pathway. It is a systolic enzyme, catalyzes chemical reaction and fructose bisphosphate is gluconeogenesis enzyme converts fructose 1,6 bisphosphate 
to fructose 6-phosphate and equinities is TC circle. So the answer to question number 4 will be B. Now coming back to question number 5, the similar sort of question again. It have column 1 and column 2. Now apolysis. Apolysis occurs in tinium sulium. Now what is apolysis? Apolysis is a process of shading of gravid proglottis. But the tapeworm is called apolysis. Now canocytes porifera. Canocytes filter particle out of water in spongicil. And epitoki relates to the polycheta. What is epitoki? That is sexually immature worm is modified and transformed into sexual mature worm. First they were immature worm sexually and then they become sexually mature. Morphelis regeneration. When you see the term regeneration, it always relates to hydra. Regeneration of a specific tissue in organisms due to loss or death of existing tissue. Question number three. Sorry, question number six. Similar sort of column one and column two. Habitat isolation relates to the population live in the same region but occupy different habitat when there is habitat there should be habitat seasonal isolation population live in the same region but become sexually mature at different times and ethological isolation ethological means behavior when you look at the behavior then populations isolated because of incompatible behavior and mechanical isolations isolation did because structural differences in the reproductive organs now answer to question number six is B now question number seven see question number seven the twos are the two points are very easy to match aquatic habitats relates to hydrophytes Aqua means water, hydrophytes, then dry community in dry conditions is xerophytes. That was simple. But community in abundant light is known as heliophytes. And community in shade is known as sheophytes. These were the confusion terms. At least for me, I guess. Community in abundant light is heliophytes. So answer of question number seven will be B. Now question number 8 is, is straightforward from the book. Radial cleavage is echinoderms. Spiral cleavage is analytes. Bilateral cleavage is tunicates. And rotational cleavage is mammals. So answer to question number 8 will be D. Now question number 9, same allosteric enzyme, allosteric enzyme relates to the ATPs, enzyme that have additional site for an effector to bind as well as active site. What is isoenzyme? Isoenzyme is 3LDH and multi-enzyme complex is PDC. PDC is a multi-complex enzyme catalyzed production of acetyl coenzyme from the pyruvate produced by the glycolysis. And coenzyme acetyl coenzyme. So answer to question number 9 will be B. So question number 10 again column 1 and column 2 you have to match. So glucose Phosphate isomerase relates to catalyzes the second step of glycolysis. Glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate catalyzes the sixth step of the glucolysis. Lactic dehydrogenase catalyzes the lactic acid ferment, uh, fermentation, lactic lactate. And UDP glucose precursor of the glycogen in the glycogen synthesis. So the answer of question number 10 will be A. Now question number 11. 
same column one and column two merozygotes is a partial diploids resulting from the transfer of the part of the donor endozygote native dna of the recipient exozygote from outside dna fragment transfer from donor and competence ability of the cell to incorporate naked dna from the surrounding so answer of 11 is b now question number 12 same column 1 and column 2 melatonin is influences the activity of the ovary relaxing loosening of the pelvic ligaments so pelvic ligaments are loose for parturitions induction of parturitions in cattle msc msh is pigment dispersal in melanophores it is important for protecting skin from the uv rays and sth metabolism of protein and fats so answer to 12 will be d Now question number 13, similar column 1 and column 2, organophosphate is called DDVP which is dichlophorus, an insecticide to control household pot. Also DDVP is also known as Vepona. High organic load is eutrophic, I think this already know by many. Chlorinated hydrocarbon is aldin. What is aldin? Aldin, aldin is also an pesticide. And chironomids is a highly polluted system. So answer to question number 13 will be A. Now the question number 14. 14 is also the easiest question. Tertiary consumers is a four trophic level, producers are first trophic level, primary consumers second trophic level, and secondary consumers is a third trophic level. Question number 15. So boron causes terminal leaf necrosis. Copper causes dieback diseases, symptoms like dieback of twigs, thin and bushy appearance iron causes intervranial chlorosis yellowing of leaves as the symptoms and zinc causes little leaf disease so the answer of question number 15 will be d Question number 16. Helicase begins to unwinding of the DNA helix. SSB protein stabilizes the single DNA strand, primase synthesis RNA primer, and DNA gyrase assist in unwinding of DNA helix. 16 answer is C. Now question number 17, the similar match the following. So Turner syndrome is 44 plus XO. It occurs mainly in the females and the symptoms are short steroids, short stature, loss of ovary. See, a female comprises of XX as a genetic makeup. You can see here one X is missing. So the feminine femininity character is lost by the individuals. So Patau syndrome is 44XXY, which has an additional copy of chromosome, so it behaves abnormal. Thin French syndrome, which occurs mainly in boys, which is 44XY. Again, one more X comes, so it occurs in mainly boys. Jacob's criminal syndrome is 44XY. Again, Y chromosome comes. It mainly occurs in the boys or male. And this is the most rare disease. Now, question number 18. Lysozymes relate to autophagy. 
chaperones relate to protein folding guides protein along the proper pathway for folding and cop one relates to kdel and transduction relates to cgmp so the answer of 18 is d and the question of 17 is a i missed out i suppose now question number 19 there was a stenohydric stenohaline urihydric urihaline the question was easy but there was a confusing what do you mean by steno and uri steno means narrow uri means wide that's if the steno and uri meaning were clear then this question is the easiest one so stenohydric means narrow tolerance to water and stenohaline means narrow tolerance to salinity urihydric is white tolerance urihaline is white tolerance to salinity so the answer of question 19 will be c now question number 20 again pseudostratified epithelium relates to the urinary bladder epithelium columnar epithelium relates to intestinal epithelium cuboidal epithelium relates to thyroid gland and simple squamous epithelium relates to skin so the answer to 20 will be b now in question number 21 5 prime capping of the mRNA is 7 methyl guanosine ribozyme catalytic RNA promoter RNA polymerase polyethyl polyaldylate polymerase and the question answer of 21 will be B option question number 22 nucleolus is RNA synthesis spherosomes which is lipid storage or which is also known as oleosomes are small cell organelle bound by the single membranes which take part in storage and synthesis of lipid B1 peroxisomes which is glycolate metabolism and plasmodesmata which is transport of macromolecules so answer of 22 is C now question number 23 column 1 and column 2 bidin is an acetyl glucose amine sugar cortical granule reaction is sperm egg contact resect is sperm activating peptide and acrosome reaction is calcium the answer to 23 will be d one more important thing acrosome reaction occurs after capacitation calcium ions are required now question number 24 i could not answer this question because i never understood this question i believe that sampling uh, sample size is numbering of individuals I may be wrong but at the option C there is no numbering of individuals if someone knows this answer please let me know as I am with explanations question number 25 nitrification is conversion of ammonia to nitrate denitrification conversion of nitrates to gaseous nitrogen nitrogen fixation is conversion of gaseous nitrogen to NH3 Ammonification of conversion of proteins to NH3. The answer to 25 will be B. So which of the following is the intercellular anchor protein? The intercellular anchor protein is integrin. Integrin is the intercellular protein identification and classification of plants on the basis of morphological characteristics constitute alpha taxonomy 
alpha taxonomy option B now the influences in which sessile flowers are born acropetally is spike B Calmodulin is a cal means calcium so chlorophyll there is no cal cadmium no calcium so this is an easy question even if you don't know the answer you can figure it out by using common sense that is calcium binding protein the anterior posterior axis in drosophila is created by the regional synthesis of the transcription factor encoded by bicoid and nanos protein that is 30a synoptical complex is a composed of only proteins so what is synaptonemal complex it is a tripartite structure consisting of two parallel lateral regions and central elements now which class of immunoglobin is active for antibody dependent cell mediated cytolysis mechanism it's IgGD IgGD which classically is known to be natural killer NK cells typically interact with Ig the bar body which is located near the nuclear membrane and replicate late during is S phase 33 seen in female somatic cells called bar bodies now the pop the population bottleneck will be prominent in catasomic speciation catasomic speciation what is known by bottleneck bottleneck means sharp reduction of population due to the environment conditions and catasomic speciation where speciation happen on a broad scale when a species is split by geographical event like uplift of mountains so this can relate environmental conditions and it relates the geographical event a competitive exclusion principle states that if two competing species coexist in a stable environment they do so as a result of nature differentiation a nonsense mutation involves the creation of stop codon creation of stop the next question is 37 which of the following technique is used to make numerous copies of a specific segment of DNA quickly and accurately is polymerase chain reaction and IPCR which is the short form of polymerase chain reaction now question number 38 which one of the following enzyme is important for driving malid aspartate shuttle that is lactate dehydrogenase 38c lactate dehydrogenase now 39a phosphorylation is due to b electrochemical proton gradient the answer to 39 is b 40 standard error may be defined as a measure of a sampling distribution so what is standard error center standard error is a statistical term that measure the accuracy with which a sample distribution represents a population so answer of 40 is a the largest family of a cell surface receptor is receptor protein tyrosine kinases 41b 42 in the operant concept the regular gene regulates chemical reaction in the cell by inhibiting the migration of mrna into cytoplasm so answer to 42 is C 43 
which of the following is the most unstable condition in the protein holding this question i could not able to solve if anyone present there can solve please let me know with explanation question number 44 how does an oil immersion lens enhance the power of resolution of a microscope The answer to 44 is A increasing the numerical aperture of objective. Question number 45 which of the following is thought to be the dominant mode of speciation allopatric speciation. Forty-six. Mycobacterium tuberculosis is the intercellular bacterium it prefers to infect it prefer to infect macrophages 46 so question number 46 is b the degree of scattering in transmission mi- electron microscope is a function of number and mass of atoms that lie in the electron part 47 c question number 48 which of the following statements about rhodopsin is true the correct statement is absorption of a photon by rhodopsin causes an isomerization of all cis retinal to all trans retinal so answer to 48 is d so question number 49 i couldn't figure out what will be the answer of 49 question number 50 in which of the following circumstances the hardy weinberg law must not fail to apply is random mating so answer to 50 is d So these are the 50 questions I have attempted answering it. The next 50 questions will be in the next video as because this video is becoming long. So in the next video I will try to solve 51 to 100 questions. Thank you.